My name is Craig Miller. I'm the Vice President of Worldwide Marketing for Sequence Communications. Uh, Sequence is a leader in 4G semiconductor technology. Uh, we've been shipping WiMAX uh, semiconductors for the better part of six, seven years. And in the last two years, we've uh, added LTE to our portfolio. And last week, we announced our second generation of, of LTE uh, platform solutions. The Fujitsu announcement we made last week was actually a part of our announcement of our second generation of LTE platforms, and I'll explain essentially what, what that was about. We, we announced two new platforms for the LTE marketplace, uh, one focused on data products and one focused on mobile handset and tablet products. And as part of that announcement, we, uh, we had entered into an uh, arrangement with Fujitsu uh, Semiconductor to provide RF transceivers uh, as part of our platform solution. That solution together with our, our technology enables us to cover all the global LTE bands and bandwidths, frequency plans, uh, multi-band opportunities. Uh, gives us an extremely uh, frequency agile and, and diverse uh, capability to address global, global LTE markets. Well, if you look at the LTE landscape and the, the operator's uh, spectrum holdings globally, uh, it's extremely fragmented. So in one market, uh, you'll have an operator who maybe can operate LTE in a couple of bands. The next market, it's two other bands and so on. Uh, going around the world, there's somewhere in the 30 to 40 bands uh, that, are, that are deployable in LTE, with LTE technology, which makes it extremely difficult for the device manufacturer to create a, if you will, a world skew, a, a global a roaming capability. In order to do that in a handset or a data device, you need to incorporate multiple bands. And um, it's, uh, it's no easy feat, uh, but with the, the partnership we have with Fujitsu, in this case, uh, we're able to address uh, in a single product many, many bands. The question about FDD and TDD uh, spectrum is, is an interesting one for the LTE marketplace. Um, it's true that Many of the large uh, 3GPP operators today who operate either a GSM uh, edge network or a WCDMA UMTS network, many of them are operating those, those networks in FDD spectrum. And as they evolve to LTE, they will, they will evolve into an FDD LTE spectrum plan. However, if you look globally, uh, there are many countries where there is an abundance of TDD spectrum really on every continent. Uh, and that spectrum is, is ideal for, uh, for broadband, mobile broadband services. And so in countries like China, where the, you have China Mobile leading the charge for TDLTE ecosystem development, but India is a huge untapped market for mobile broadband. All of that will be done in TDD spectrum. Uh, we have networks today that have already gone live using Sequence technology in the Middle East, in Australia, we're in trials in Japan, in, in China, in India, and right here in the United States, Clearwire obviously holds huge, uh, huge TDD spectrum, and they've announced that their, their LTE strategy would be on TDD spectrum. So globally, I think it's a, it's a pretty balanced uh, picture, um, and I think, I think there's, there's opportunities, large opportunities in both TDD and FDD, and in fact, I think what you'll find is there'll be products that support both TDD and FDD, and we'll be right there supporting it.